we put out a review, there are two big numbers that flash on the screen. A lot of people don't really know what they're for, so we're here to help you out on that. They are namely horsepower and torque. Bigger is normally better, especially in this case, and especially when you want to nail the accelerator and haul some ass. Now, don't get me wrong, most cars will definitely perform well enough even if you don't look at the spec sheet, but it would be to your advantage to understand what these figures mean because, well, you paid for the car. Sayang naman. No, but really, it's important that you understand these figures because they can make or break your experience. I'm no engineer, but trust me on this. So on this edition of Behind a Desk, Home Edition, Hairstyle and Desk thanks to COVID-19, we're gonna dive in and explain the differences between horsepower and torque and what these numbers can actually do for you. So I'll start with the obvious. Cars have engines, yes. It needs a propulsive force to move a car forward or back depending on what gear you're in. Dad, even I knew that! So engines feature these two things that we're talking about, power and torque. Power is measured in horsepower and torque, well, can be measured in many a number of ways, but we're going to stick with Newton meters. Now, I know what you're thinking. Metric and imperial units. Why can't this freak just pick one? Yes, I completely understand. But before you go off on me, have a coconut smile, sit back and relax, and allow me to explain why. We live in the Philippines, and the standard is that we use both. Now, if you're talking about North America, specifically the United States, Canada, then there's also Europe, like UK and Germany. They use pound per foot. But since here in the Philippines, mo most manufacturers like to use newt meters, we're going to stick with newt meters. And between you and me, it actually looks better on paper. See, 100 pounds foot of torque in newton meters is like a little over 135. So, looks better, don't it? Okay, so the first thing is horsepower. Thank you, milady. This guy, powerful, strong, fast. See, not exactly. They should have actually called it pony power. Thank you, milady. This guy. See, the horse or pony that they used back then to make this measurement wasn't exactly the biggest thing that they could find or the strongest thing that they could find. It was actually a pit pony or a Shetland pony. So strong, yes, but not exactly the biggest thing on the planet. A little bit of history lesson there for you. La, 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 la. <laughs> But anyway, one horsepower, or HP, is the power needed to move 550 pounds one foot in one second. Get it? Or the power needed to move 33,000 foot pounds per minute. So power relates to how quickly a task is accomplished. So if I were to give myself a horsepower rating with regards to the amount of work and how fast I do the work here in the house, yeah, it would be a zero. But if I were to give a horsepower rating to my wife on the speed at which she completes the tasks, yeah, it would be a bazillion, jillion, gajillion, trillion, billion, trillion, zillion, Google number. <laughs> now to get up to speed much quicker, you need more horsepower. The more horsepower, the more acceleration, which allows you to keep gaining speed faster. Huh? Now on to torque. Now torque is defined as a twisting force. Sounds simple enough, but honestly, what the heck does it mean? Plainly, torque is the amount of work an engine can put out or its potential. Take a socket wrench and twist it on a bolt. You twisting the bolt down is torque, okay? Now this is done in the same way for an engine where your arm exerting the force is the piston, the wrench and the bolt is the crankshaft. Confused yet? Yeah, okay, listen, let's oversimplify these things so that the next time you go to our website, autodeal.com.ph and look at the car comparison guide, you've got yourself a little bit of an edge. Now, I'm not saying that these figures are the end all and be all of shopping for a car, but they can help you in determining what the car can do for you. Again, I'm oversimplifying things, okay? So, let's take this car for example. Let's say that this car has 300 horsepower and only 100 newton meters of torque, wherein this car has only 100 horsepower but 300 newton meters of torque. Now these two engines, uh, ixnay with the gears and, and the entire weight of the car, but these two engines will work very, very differently. 
something with 300 newton meters of torque has got so much potential to get work done. But since it only has 100 horsepower, it's gonna be able to travel so slowly. So the rate of work that it can do is much, much less. Whereas this car does have 300 horses, it can accomplish things quickly. But the amount of torque that it has, which is only 100, that means the amount of work that it can do is much, much less. In the same way, you gotta find a car that best suits for you, whether it's going to be on one side or the other, or a little combination of both depending on where it leans. Take it this way, the torque biased car is represented as a weightlifter. He may not be the fastest thing on the planet, but he can haul a lot of weight around. Now, torque helps with hauling and overcoming external resistance, such as more weight inside a car. So, if the first car were to go up a hill, fully loaded with only 100 newton meters of torque, it'll have a hard time. If the second were to go up the incline with the same amount of weight, well, <laughs> you know. Just think of this car to be, let's say, Dwayne Johnson, and this car to be Usain Bolt. You can't have the best of everything all the time, so you gotta find that one particular car that is balanced just for you. So are you a large family or do you drive solo? Do you drive mainly in traffic or do you drive outside of the city more often than not? Now, like I, what I've said before, there is no one particular perfect car for everybody. The same can be said about an engine. And now that you know the differences between power and torque and how they apply to you, I hope that it will help you choose the right car for you because it honestly can make or break your experience. Folks, thanks for watching. Do stay safe, and I hope to see you soon.